Don't you know that everything around us is matter? The food we eat, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. Today, we will learn about how to classify materials based on their properties or characteristics. But before that, let me define the word matter. Matter is anything that has mass, volume, and takes up space. Matter exists in th three phases, namely solid, liquid, and gas. I have here the following materials to classify. I group these materials as solid. Molecules of solid are tightly packed and strong. As a result, solids have definite shape and volume, has color, size, and can be held. Others cannot be seen but can be tested. Number one, hardness. Materials that cannot be scratched easily are hard materials just like this rock. Number two is malleability. This ring is malleable because it can be remolded in different shapes without being broken. D. Number three, brittleness. This glass is brittle because if you drop it accidentally, it will surely break into pieces. Fourth, elasticity. If I stretch this tie using pressure, its length is twice as normal length. If I do not apply pressure, it resumes its normal shape. And lastly, number five, strength. This bar I have supports and strengthens my bed frame of steel. These materials I group as liquid. Molecules of liquid are slightly packed and weaker than solid. Therefore, liquids have definite volume. No definite shape, it only takes up the shape of the container. Has color, can flow, can't be held. Other liquids flow very slowly. They are called viscous. The slower the liquid flows, the greater the viscosity. Let me pour the water and oil. The oil has greater viscosity. And the last phases of matter is gas. In gases, molecules are very far away from each other. Bounce off, move in every direction, and very weak. So, gases have no definite shape and volume, fill up the entire space or shape of the container. Colorless, tasteless, and invisible, but gas has weight. The air we breathe is oxygen. The gas inside our tank is liquefied petroleum gas or LPG and what is inside this vacuum bag is an air. Hoping that this lesson helps you classify the materials into solid, liquid, and gas. Thank you!